Hello, and on behalf of JMU Athletics, thank you for your interest in the Dukes and for your desire to learn more about the JMU Athletics program. I'm Kurt Dudley, Director of Broadcast Services for the Dukes of JMU, and it's been my pleasure for more than three decades to be working and associated with this program. So I've seen the majority of the history of JMU Athletics. The past five years have been like no other stretch of overall success for the Dukes, marked by a number of CAA titles, NCAA tournament appearances, four national championship game appearances, and two national titles. Now, on the top of all of that, there is a long list of honors won by JMU student athletes for their activities on the field and in the classroom, and another list that regards the coaching staff and the administration and being honored by their peers, be it within the conference, regionally, or even on the national scale. Now, this sustained success is by design. Yes, JMU does attract a high caliber of student athletes simply by its reputation. If you're just learning about that reputation, I think you'll see what I mean. But there also exists a support system that sets up our student athletes for optimal opportunity for success while the Dukes uh, are Dukes and beyond once they graduate from James Madison University. Now that program is called Integrated Health and Sport Performance, and it includes seven supportive areas, including sport and clinical psychology. Now my guest today is Dr. Robert Bob Harmison, who is the Director of Sports Psychology and the Kibler Professor of Sports Psychology, the Department of Graduate Psychology. Dr. Harmison, thank you for spending some quality time with us to talk about this aspect of the JMU Athletics Program. And give us a quick background on just how this became your career. Uh, you bet, Curtin, and uh, good to be with you. Um, I, I've been in JMU now about uh, 12 and a half years. And uh, prior to uh, coming to JMU, uh, I got my doctorate degree in, in counseling psychology from the University of North Texas. And also have a master's degree in exercise and sports psych or sports sciences from the University of Arizona. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist here in Virginia and also a certified mental performance consultant uh, through the Association for Applied Sports Psychology. Uh, and in addition to that, I'm also listed um, on the uh, U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee uh, Sports Psychology and Mental Training Registry. So quite a bit there. Certainly, you are much more qualified than this uh, in this area, and of course, working with student athletes. Now, uh, Dr. Harmison, times are certainly different as we record this video at the start of the 2020-21 academic school year. But what would be some of the ways in which you help the Dukes under usual circumstances? Yeah, I serve our student athletes and teams in, in two primary areas. Uh, one area is mental performance, and the second area is mental health. Uh, as far as mental performance goes, I help our student athletes develop mental toughness and use mental skills to perform uh, and to optimize their competitive performance and their enjoyment with sport. Uh, more specifically, I provide them with some tools and strategies for them to in increase their belief in their abilities, to enhance their motivation and goal-directed behavior, to deal with adversity and failure, which we know is going to happen uh, at this level of competition, uh, also teach them some tools and strategies to overcome competitive stress and, and hardships, uh, manage emotions uh, like competitive anxiety and performance pressure and frustration when they're not playing as well as they want to play, and also uh, help them to stay focused in the present moment and uh, concentrate on the, on the task at hand. In the area of mental health, I support our student athletes' psychological, emotional, and social well-being by providing them with counseling around a number of mental health issues and concerns that they are likely to face uh, during their, their time here at JMU. Examples include helping them to balance the many demands that are placed upon them as students, as athletes, and as developing young people, uh, help them manage just normal life stressors that they're, they're going to face, uh, cope with feelings of depression and anxiety that they might face uh, during this time in their lives, and also help them work through conflicts in their relationships with romantic partners or teammates or coaches or family members and so on. Uh, Dr. Harmison, do you do this uh, in both group and individual one-on-one -on -one settings? Both, yeah. So, so I'll meet one-on-one -on -one in my office with athletes who either uh, request to meet with me 
or maybe a coach encourages them to meet with me and, and say, hey, I think if you meet with Dr. Bob, I think this, this will help you either, either dealing with something on the field or off the field. Uh, also, our athletic trainers uh, will often encourage athletes to come meet with me as well. Uh, and so I work with them individually. And also, there are a handful of teams each year that I will work uh, with them collectively where uh, I'll meet with them as a group or maybe in subgroups like their leadership council. Um, and I'll do team building uh, kinds of exercises with them. We'll talk about uh, how they can collectively be more mentally tough as, as a team and as a unit. Uh, we'll work on their ability to communicate with one another effectively, leadership, those sorts of things. Now we uh, certainly in sports measure success oftentimes by wins and losses but we feel like there are a lot of other champions that are won even regarding, disregarding actually the wins and losses. Uh, Dr. Bob, are there times when you have watched the Dukes uh, in their respective sport and see the impact of what you have done for them? Yeah, that, that's actually the, the best part of my job, to be honest with you. When I'm able to uh, either with an individual athlete or uh, a team to see them achieve goals that are meaningful to them and then knowing that I was a small part in, in helping that happen. So I'll give you an example to maybe highlight how, how, that, how that works. So, um, so uh, years ago, uh, there was, I met with a, one of our uh, female athletes, student athletes, uh, it was early in her freshman year, and she was really struggling uh, with her confidence. And it, her coaches uh, believed at that time she should have been one of the best players on her team, uh, and they knew eventually that she would be. Um, but she was really significantly underperforming um, uh, in her eyes and in her coach's eyes as well. And so uh, one of the things that she was doing is she was just thinking way too much, way too worried about making mistakes uh, and those sorts of things. And so what, one of the things as I taught her, I taught her a, a trust drill to do in practice uh, that was really focused on helping her to base her confidence in her ability to focus and refocus herself in those critical moments, as opposed to basing her confidence on whether or not that she was having success. So that was more within her control. I also instructed her to keep a journal after each practice uh, that she can go back and, and look at and, and, and evaluate her performance. And then also to uh, encourage her to note at least one good thing that she did each day in practice so she could uh, get some confidence from that and remind herself that even if she struggled, she still was a really, really good, good player. And one of the things that she was really doing, she was really afraid to take chances. And her coaches were encouraging her to take chances. And she just was really afraid to do that, even in practice. So I helped her set a goal to uh, take about five to seven risks each day during practice so that she could become more comfortable playing outside her comfort zone. Well, about halfway through her freshman season, one of her teammates suffered an injury, which forced her then to – uh, take her place and play a more prominent role uh, in, uh, you know, in, in her team's uh, play. And um, she indicated that uh, working with me really helped her to be more confident in that moment and be ready to step in and step up in that moment. And what was interesting, she had a, she had a pretty good initial game. And following that game, she reported or that her confidence issues basically just went almost immediately away. And then um, she went on to, uh, in my opinion, achieve to her potential. She was a multiple all-conference and, and all-region performer. And, and I'd like just to, just to clarify that um, it, I was a small part in helping her do that. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't take credit at all for, for her success because she was a hard worker. She was very talented. She had great coaching, uh, tremendous support from her athletic trainer and her strength and conditioning coach. Um, and then that was one small piece that I was able to help her with uh, so that she could then achieve her potential. Dr. Harmison, that's a great example of the integrated health and sports performance uh, with, with the success of that particular student athlete. Now, we go uh, at great length on this subject, of course, and we can talk a little bit more here as right now, much public discussion uh, is placed on the unusual stress that the pandemic is putting on all of us including college age students and student athletes. So resiliency is key to education right now. So much of it is online, it's quite different. How is uh, what you're doing, your impact, how is it resulting to your own resiliency within the program? Yeah, so 
uh, within our integrated health and sport performance approach, we have uh, an interdisciplinary uh, care and recovery enhancement team. And, and in that role, uh, I've been uh, working and during this time to, to provide as much support as I can to our student athletes. And, and, and so as they've been returning to campus, uh, one of the things that I've been doing is meeting with, with uh, athletes that have either requested to meet with me or athletes that have expressed experiencing some level of psychological distress related uh, primarily to the pandemic, but then also uh, related to some of the uh, recent racial injustices and civil unrest that that's uh, going on right now as well. And and I'm, what I'm mostly doing in those meetings is mostly just checking in with them regarding how they are currently thinking and feeling as they come to campus, uh, problem solving and, and advising them on how they can care for themselves during this particular time. And also then providing them with handouts and resources uh, to help them cope with uh, just th things like uncertainty, uh, developing resilience, uh, maintaining their emotion, uh, their motivation uh, for training, and then also applying mindfulness skills so they can better take take care of themselves. And um, and I've also since since the pandemic kind of started, I've also have met with a handful of our teams in more of a kind of virtual collective setting and focusing my message on how they can be resilient during this time by adopting uh, three main attitudes. One is an attitude of, of control, which is the belief that they can influence the events in their life. Uh, there's also the attitude of commitment, which is feeling deeply involved in the activities in their life. And the third is the attitude of challenge, which is believing that change is actually pretty normal and, and, and a really interesting and stirring incentive for growth. Well, Dr. Bob, we could go much deeper in this. Psychology is a deep concept, first of all, and, uh, but I do appreciate your time and, and sharing just the tip of the iceberg and how you and uh, clinical and sports psychology impacts the success, overall success of the JMU Athletic Program. And again, we've seen that in the result over the last five years. So thanks again. Yeah, you bet, Kurt. It was my pleasure. And go Dukes. He is Dr. Robert Bob Harmison, Director of Sports Psychology for the JMU Dukes. You can find his contact information by going to the athletics directory uh, on jmusports.com. Thank you for checking in. I'm Kurt Dudley for the Dukes of James Madison University, and have a great purple and gold day.